All right, all right, all right. It is Friday, and Friday Fight for Max 30 is about to go down. And anybody that has done this program and done Friday, and has done a Friday Fight workout knows, like, you need to, like, gather yourself beforehand. <laughs> but I can feel my pre-workout uh, kicking in, so, like, I'm ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down. Look, there's Sean. It's gonna happen. Um, I wanted to post a quick video to you guys because this is our first weekend for this group and if you are like me, the weekends can definitely be the place where, you know, you spiral a little bit out of control. You, um, want to relax, you want to unwind, you have parties to go to, whatever, um, indulging, date night, whatever, and you have a few cocktails and then all of a sudden that, you know, fries sound really good and so that's where it happens, um, for me and then that can lead into a really bad week because if you overindulge on the weekend and you didn't meal plan and you didn't go to the grocery store, it's going to set you up for a bad week. So here's my tips for getting through the weekend where you can still enjoy your treats, but you don't blow yourself totally off course. One, meal plan and go to the grocery store this weekend. You have to do that. You have to prepare, make it a point. Um, you know, it. you don't have to make it super complicated, but you do need to do it because you need to have food in your house that fits within your meal plan, that works towards your goals, and you need to have a plan in hand in order to do that. At the very least, plan your, um, lunches and, or at the very least, plan your dinners. You know, you're gonna, you can have your shake for at least one meal a day, but make sure you have a plan. Number two. Use your yellow and purple containers wisely. Now, if you're following the 21 day fix, it'll tell you that twice a week you can trade a yellow container for a tasty beverage such as a glass of wine. Now, those are really good rules to follow and that is in moderation. And if you are sticking to it to a T, that's what you need to do. If you think that might not necessarily work for you, Here's what I've had other people do, and it still worked for them. It's not what I would suggest doing all the time, but if you need to, you can trade more than one yellow container for a glass of wine. And I've even had people trade some purple containers for a glass of wine or whatever, tasty carbs. The point is, is that you need to make sure your total calorie intake isn't going over the top and you need to make sure that your carbs aren't completely blown out in your macros, okay? So your macros, your fats, your proteins, and your carbohydrates, well, any of the beverages that you have are gonna be in your carbohydrate category. And your purples and your yellows are your main source of carbohydrates when it comes to the container. So if you're gonna have more, just make sure that you're dialing back on your other carbohydrates and having more of, or and treating those for the drinks. With that said, don't deplete your yellows and your purple so much that you're starving hungry and then you're like binge eating on pizza or cookies or whatever because you didn't fuel your body properly. And that brings me to point number three. Make sure that you are drinking plenty of water and your Shakeology because if you're gonna be treating out some um, nutrient dense food and your yellow and purple containers, you need to make sure you're getting your nutrients and your hydration when it comes to water and Shakeology. And those things are gonna help you stay on track, help make sure your body is still being fueled properly so that you don't have these cravings and this need and this foggy head and this crankiness. Um, so those things are gonna help you stay on track this weekend. So enjoy the weekend. I will be checking in again and talking a little bit um, about food prep and um, walk you guys through how I'm doing that this weekend. But in the meantime, enjoy it. And uh, I will check in with you later. Bye.